A Court of Wings and Ruin is the third book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Maas. This fantasy novel follows Fair Archeron, who has returned to the Spring Court as a spy to gather information about the malevolent King of Hybern's plans to conquer the continent of Prithian. Having undergone significant personal transformation, Fair is no longer the human girl who was taken into the fairy lands, but a powerful High Fae with the abilities of all seven High Lords after being resurrected from death at the end of the first book. As the story begins, Fair, who is still pretending to be in love with Tamlin, skillfully manipulates him and his court. Fair must keep up the carade while undermining Tamlin's estate from within, and simultaneously dealing with the lingering trauma from her past experiences. She sows discord, gleans critical information, and sabotaged Tamlin's efforts, who is unknowingly allied with the King of Hybern to create a cauldron, a magical object of unspeakable power that can tear down the wall between the mortal and fairy worlds. Fair's loyalties, however, truly lie with Rysand, the High Lord of the Night Court, to whom she is mated both in soul and by an unbreakable bargain. Their connection allows them to communicate mentally, and they draw strength from each other's love and support. Rysand and his circle of loyal friends and warriors, including the cunning Morrigan, the fierce and skilled Cassian, the brooding and powerful Asriel, and the bright and healing Amran, are preparing for the imminent war against Highburn. The politics of the fairy courts are complex and perilous. Each High Lord commands distinct powers and territories, and their willingness to align against a common enemy is tenuous at best. Moreover, Ancient grievances, jealousies, and distrust make forming alliances a challenging task. Fair and Rysand endeavor to forge these uneasy bonds, calling upon the strength of not only the Night Court, but other High Lords in their respective courts, such as Thassan of the Dawn Court, Helion of the Day Court, and Tarquin of the Summer Court. Amidst these political maneuvers, Fair reunites with her sisters, Nesta and Elaine. Both have been rendered high fey against their will by the actions of the King of Highburn and are struggling with their new identities. Nesta, fierce and angry, possesses an ancient power that even she does not fully understand, while Elaine, gentle and loving, has been made into a seer. The sisters' transformations and powers will prove pivotal to the resistance against Highburn. Throughout the novel, the characters grapple with their internal demons and relationship dynamics. Rysand and Fair's bond deepens as they confront their own vulnerabilities and draw on their mutual respect and passion. The Inner Circle members reveal more about their respective pasts, adding depth to their personalities and motivations, and showcasing the themes of friendship, loyalty, and the complexity of love. The King of Hybern's machinations come to a head in explosive confrontations, revealing his insidious use of the cauldron's power. He enacts plans to shatter the protective wall, thereby endangering both fairy and mortal realms. The Night Court leads the charge in desperate, brutal battles against Hybern's forces. Alongside the High Lords and Fire's allies, they face seemingly insurmountable odds with courage, ingenuity, and the determination to protect their world from subjugation. Throughout the conflict, Fair and her allies must navigate a series of grueling trials and devastating losses. They encounter monsters and face treachery from unlikely places. Friendships are tested, and sacrifices are made in the name of peace and freedom. The alliances formed among Fair and the different courts showcase the power of unity in the face of division and the importance of overcoming past prejudices for a greater good. In the midst of the larger battle, personal vendettas and ancient prophecies come into play. Fair's enemies seek revenge for old slights, and she must confront the darker aspects of her power, even as she learns to harness it for the protection of all. The prophetic riddles and visions that Elaine experiences point towards a future that is both foreboding and hopeful, suggesting that victory is possible, but will come at a significant cost. The novel culminates in a series of climactic moments where the fate of the world hangs in the balance. Fair's courage, intelligence, and the strength she has gained both personally and through her connections with others, are put to the ultimate test. Her choices and actions resonate with the overarching theme of sacrifice and the enduring power of love. 
A court of wings in ruin weaves a rich tapestry of fantasy, romance, and war, bringing the reader through an emotional landscape as tumultuous and compelling as the battles that rage across Prithian. As Fair fights to save her world, she simultaneously discovers the full extent of her own abilities and the unshakable bond that ties her to Recent and her newfound family. The conclusion of the novel sets the stage for further developments in the series, leaving several storylines open and hinting at future struggles, alliances, and the ongoing evolution of the characters readers have come to love. With its blend of action, political intrigue, an exploration of emotional depth, A Court of Wings and Ruin delivers an epic tale of resilience, empowerment, and the enduring fight against darkness with the power of light and love. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.